Massive shout out to X Machine for sending us the TS60, or should I say more along the lines of the Ultimate Season Pass, so that we can make this review and better inform you guys if we think the TS60 slash the Ultimate Season Pass is worth the pickup. Hey guys, Clone Guy here, and today we are reviewing the TS60, the premium reward tank, the ultimate reward tank for the season pass, Patriots season pass, a tier 9 tank destroyer. And uh, we're going to be breaking down whether or not it's good or not. I typically just jump into game and have the review as we play it live, but I wanted to point some things out first. A lot of people said this thing, the selling factor, is the fact that it has armor. Um, I checked out tanks.gg and found out that we have the same armor as they do, which is kind of cool. Which makes it a lot easier for me to uh, to go through. Oh, my PC is not there. Where's my PC? Oh, there we go. Back to this. My PC here. Now we can see. Um, here it is. It looks like it's got some armor, but this is with standard rounds. Um, you can penetrate yourself 60% of the time, basically, in the upper plate, 50 to 60%. Um, lower plate is weak as cheese, so that's a penable spot. But because of its sharp angle in the hull, as soon as you start to angle, look at that, it starts to get pretty, pretty strong. Lower plate is still weak, but by the time you can get the upper plate to be a place where it's kind of effective, now you can pen this side. So keep that in mind. Uh, on top of that, there's heat, which just has says hello. Um, this turret is pretty strong because as you can see with heat, it's still pretty difficult to go through 320 pen. Um, and you can side scrape, kind of, but you have this annoying weak spot here, which can be penned as it tries to shoot at you, or as it shoots back at you. Um, we are told it has 7 degrees of gun depression, even over the front. It doesn't feel like that. I don't know if we actually do, because as I was playing it yesterday in the stream, it didn't feel like it. On top of that, this tank is really, really slow. It goes 35. Yeah, it's not fast. Um, and see this reload? Rate of fire 7.28 rounds a minute with almost 3,000 base TPM. No, ours is a nerf. We only get 6.25 rounds a minute. So you're kind of crying there as well. But without further ado, I think the best thing we can do is simply, simply play the game. Play the tank, see how it performs and give our opinion, a better opinion than just we've only played it, you know, once, which was yesterday. And let me tell you, the one time I played it yesterday, it did not feel good. I was weeping. I wanted to be in a Conway. I wanted to be in a Tortoise if I was gonna have armor and DPM with 420 Alpha. A Tortoise, a T95 with the small gun I would rather be in. But alas, we're in this. We got a weak Capola, a penable turret here and there, not a great upper plate, a horrible lower plate. Side armor is not enough. I'm not sure what the play is in this tank. 6.4 seconds reload. If I'm in my tortoise, I think I have 4.9. And then in my Conway, it's like 5.1 or 5.2. So yeah, DPM suffers. In the Conway and the tortoise are accurate. Holy moly. This thing's 0.38 on um, PC. Um, I actually, while I'm driving, I haven't pulled up. Let's see what its accuracy is here on console. Do, do, do. Aim time is 1.7 seconds, which is pretty good. The accuracy is 0.42. Oh! That's really bad. Okay, 7 degrees. I can't tell. Maybe that is 7. I don't know. It feels awkward, to say the least. But man, if we could have an extra second, one less second on our reload, that would be stellar. Slow shell velocity. Who is that? Was that the Manti that just snapped in? Minor man, also might have been 50 or any of those mediums, basically. 
But yeah, slow shell velocity, you don't get APCR's premium. So leading shots is gonna be hard. Oh. So slow. Camo's not enough. Manti spotted us real easy. Fuel tank hit in the lower plate, by the way. There. So you have that as well. I don't know, this kind of feels like it's not good. You have to lead for about a year and a half. 0.42 accuracy. I wish I was spotted for Eh, he's running too much. Dude, that man is just having free reign today. Where are you 50 go? Right there. Triple. Not a single blocked shot in this game. That was just bad. I've just noticed something more about this tank. And that is the turret does not turn all the way around. It gets stuck about here. Meaning you are a lot easier to flank and you're already a slow vehicle. Oh, it's just more and more about this vehicle, which is making me think it's not worth it at all. Uh, I mean, we're in the second game of today's video, and I'm already going to tell you guys to save your money. Don't buy the ultimate season pass, unless you want General Patton, of course, that's a different story. But otherwise, save it, because this is, uh, this tank is not worth it. Considering, you know, they've released things like the Avery in the past. Right? Like, nah. What is up with that reflection? What is all this reflective? Do you see this? Look at the opposite direction you're driving. Look at the, the border of that rock. That's weird. Anyway. Hopefully that gets fixed, because that's ugly. Yeah, Avery kills our EVR even 90. You know what I think I need to do for a video also, guys? Is I think I need to see who dies first in like a hundred games and who plays artillery in like a hundred games and see if it's more um, PlayStation than, than uh, Xbox which doesn't really matter but I wonder what they are right now when they have no armor hello we've been flanked We're play by the M60. Just sit there. MBT. Camping in his base. He 
doesn't know what my reload is. Oh, come on. Try to break this down. Dead center again, but I lost. Oh, this is nice. Sitting all down like this. The turret worked, kind of. Then they realized, oh, I can just shoot him in the cupola. And it's only the direct front that's strong at all. Look at those, look at those angles. From light tanks going through. Ugh. The... I... I don't know what the selling point of this tank is. Somebody said it was the armor, but we haven't experienced that. And we've been fighting more from range, really. Like, we're not even getting too close. Last game was different. But, like, you don't have the accuracy to snipe with this. You have to get close, and your armor isn't good enough. I would rather play in the T-28, a whole tier 9. Like, look at the reflection. That's awful. What did they do? I don't know this was part of the update. Like, they added the reflection of items in the water. I mean, like, that's a cool idea, but it's bad. Anyway, the middle was lost, unsurprisingly. I don't know why our EBR even attempted it. Let's see, I got some. Tank in the front. As we stated earlier. There goes my fuel tank in the front. So bad. What? What? I I want to know. I, like just ask me. Who is going to get this tank and play it? And before you're like, you were showing too much of your tank. You're showing too much of your side. You weren't angling properly. I was hyper angling. I was trying to give them my side. And look at my upper plate. There are holes in my upper plate. They, that is what they were penning. Angled like this. This upper plate, upper plate, upper plate. There's no, I don't, I don't understand. Avoid this tank. Just for reference, we're pulling out the Conway. A vehicle I think is just better. Uh, you're faster, you better, 
Gun handling, you better reload. Fully converted to turret, 10 degrees of gun depression. APCR is premium, 5.4 seconds reload. 0.3 accuracy. Well, with my crew, it's probably like 0.25. And we're gonna whip it out. And, and there's going to be an argument, and this is the worst argument you could ever have, but somebody will argue this. When I say, why play the TS-60 when you can play the Conway or the Tortoise? People will say, well, Qualm, well, Qualm, listen, Qualm, let me tell you something, Qualm. Uh, the thing about the Conway and the Tortoise is you have to grind for those. Nobody wants to sit there and grind those tanks to get this, to get that play style. Wait, you mean no one wants to hmm, play the game? Learn how to play the game? Before they get to that tank? Oh, you just want it now, so you don't have to learn how to play the game. Oh, I get it, I get it. You're right, then by all means, spend your money and get that tank. No! Go grind yourself a Conway. Save your money. Enjoy the game. Have some fun while you grind. And look, I can snipe in this tank because of my gun. Look at laser. Laser. Watch, watch how laser this tank is. I'm gonna knock down that tree. Just kidding, we should shoot the gun. Weaver's a little plate. We're just gonna spot him, I guess. Not my good. Anyway. I could have farmed him if I had AP loaded, and I should have just switched right away, but I didn't. So yeah. How we won? Who spotted me? The RU is over on the other. Both their light tanks are on the other side. What's my light tank doing? Did we squat? Oh, what was that? I can snap on this tank too. Oh, that one's so straight. It's just a bad shot. Don't worry, we've got another one about three, two seconds now. No, it's a jury. Jury's back. They came back. They decided that I will not play the TS-60 because it's stupid. When I can do stuff like this. Oh, imagine. I've already done more damage this game than I have in the TS in any of the games I've played. Shot velocity is so much quicker in this too. With the AP. Time to be aggressive. Oh my gosh, three of them just died in, in the one breath, one foul swoop. But at least we don't go 35. Sometimes, I think 29 to 28 is kind of the average speed. Look at these reflections, they're terrible. Everything has like a weird outline. Full health conk? He's about to get hauled out on me. Cool, cool, cool. I 
don't know where the TDs are, so we gotta get them. Yeah, is there. Tree fell in the world. Is that what I just saw? Well, if it's the new tier 9, it's like, whatever. Who cares? This is just the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Just getting flanked by a British tank destroyer. Well done, sir. You well down. That's the one instance where he wins. Because he was all down. And I have low health. Hi. Bye. Are you? No problem, we can take it. I rest my case. Why would you play the TS? That's not even an ace in this tank because people play it well. I guarantee that's an ace in the TS. Look at this guy. Poor guy. No, that's my review. That's my review of the, uh, the TS. Save your money. Don't buy it. Avoid the alternate season pass. It's not worth it. Otherwise, this update so far, I think, is decent. I don't really have a problem with the update. Um, the mutedness is kind of bad looking. Yeah. And the reflections are horrible looking. Yeah. But otherwise, the balance changes are really good. Like, I'm surprised. Solid update. But this TS-60, not a good tank. Save your money. Don't buy it. But that's going to be it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. I was going to say make sure you go check out Space Fan, but he doesn't pay post anymore, so just find another YouTuber and watch him. I don't know, Sod Man Haven, I guess. <laughs> and that's going to be it, everyone. Take care, everyone. And peace out.